this kid fucking jumped up. Oh my fucking god. Oh, fuck. oh bye bye. Oh shit. That's hey, it. Hey, the boo. Hey, the boo. Yo, this kid's, this kid's fucking off, bro. Well, watching that video, you must be asking yourself, why is this young Caucasian man in the water? Surely, it must be for good reason. So according to reports, 18-year-old boy Cameron Robbins from Louisiana was celebrating his recent high school graduation during a sunset cruise in the Bahamas when he reportedly jumped overboard on a dare triggering a large-scale surge. A young 18-year-old boy on the height of adrenaline, on the height of life, on a cruise ship with all his niggas. They could have did anything. I dare you to go talk to that girl. That should be dare enough. And I know as a young daredevil myself, I did a lot of stupid shit, but I would never on this type of scale do some shit like this. I'm not jumping into dark, murky waters in the ocean off of a dare. All I'm gonna get back if I do survive is a pat on the back. You die for a pat on the back. And the minuscule amount of respect that your friends will now have gained from you and one crazy story that you could tell people. But just for further backstory, Cameron Robbins just graduated from laboratory school in Baton Rouge this past Sunday. He was on a trip to the Bahamas with students from several local high schools. So you know, adrenaline was high, everything was high. He was probably watching some of the cute girls from the other schools watch him take the dare. He's like, <sighs> I'm not finna look like no pussy, I'ma do it. Unfortunately, it cost him his life. On Wednesday evening, just four hours after their arrival, Robbins and his friends went on a sunset party cruise. According to witnesses, around 9.40 p.m., the 18-year-old, who was apparently acting on a dare, took a plunge off the boat into the ocean near Athol. Robbins was last seen splashing in dark, murky waters a few feet from the boat before vanishing from view. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force assisted by the US Coast Guard Southeast has been searching for the missing team from the air, but so far without success. This part, this essentially kind of tells me that, you know, the people looking for them, they didn't really care too much. They kind of probably seen it how everybody else is kind of seeing it. He's not finna be found. We're not putting our efforts into this, sorry. We did all the best we can. You may be asking why I'm saying that. The Coast Guard had help with the search from Wednesday into Friday evening. They said, we offer our sincerest condolences to Cameron Robbins' family and friends. They searched for that nigga for two days. And they said, you know what? We did all we could do. We wrapping it up. That nigga gone. You've now destroyed your mom's life, your dad's life, your little sister's life, your closest friend's lives and your own all because of a dare now when it come to this i've been seeing people say oh his friends that dared him to do this should take the responsibility although they do bear some responsibility you have to be an individual he was 18 years old this isn't a three-year-old kid he knew the risk he thought it was worth it it's tragic r.i.p to the man but this is a prime example of taking accountability this is why you can't move off the words of other people because at the end of the day, you're gonna be the one accepting what comes with that. I know y'all was asked the question by your parent if you had a parent that cared about you. If your friends tell you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Most of us thought it was just banter like, oh mom, shut the hell up. You just talking that shit. But it's a real quote. It's very simple, but it means a lot. It's essentially trying to tell you, hey, are you going to allow social pressure to get to you. Imagine after you jump overboard. This is your view. This kid fucking jumped up. Something was in the water with him. And initially it looked like he was going for the life ref to save his life. But after seeing that creature thing in the water, he starts to swim the opposite direction. Imagine the fear in his in his heart. Imagine how much he know he just fucked up. Instead of having a great time on a cruise ship after graduation with all of your friends and people from other schools, you're now ending your life in a cold ass ocean with nobody there to save you. But yeah, that's the end of it. Essentially, bro, like this is why mama told y'all asses. If your friends jump off a cliff or dare you to jump off a cliff, you gonna jump with them. A very old, very simplistic quote, but that shit means so much. Don't let other people pressure you into doing any fucking thing. You as an individual person have to be okay with the positives 
and the negatives that come with your decisions. If you're not, you'll never be able to be okay with yourself. You'll never be able to be okay with the decisions you make if you keep moving off other people. No matter if the decision you make is right, no matter if the decision you make is wrong, you better be able to live with that shit. RP to this young man, take this as a lesson as how dangerous peer pressure can be. Be your own individual. Fuck what other people think. You don't want to do it. You don't need their appreciation. You don't need their fucking gratitude and they pats on the back. Shit's worth nothing.